Welcome to ECLMO Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. From your mathematics, you have discussed significant figures when you are discussing numbers. And also in physics, we are going to discuss significant figures. We are going to realize that these significant figures are very important, especially in science and engineering, because they ensure that the numbers and the calculations reflect the true precision of measurement. My name is Albert. I hope you are going to enjoy this lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define what significant figures are, describe a procedure of assigning significant figures in different arrangement of numbers, and then finally do some calculation involving significant figures. So significant figures are digits in a number that carry meaning which contribute to its measurement accuracy. For example, if you have a number like 233, this number is so precise that someone can know you have 200, and on top of 200 you have 30, and on top of 30 you have 3. Then in this case, these two, the first two represent hundreds. Then the second one represents tens, and then this one represent ones. So in this case, if someone does not need too much details, you can still tell them I have 200 if they don't want to know the much details about it. So in this case, we will say we have written this in one significant figure because we have just considered the first number from the left. Then if someone needs more details in terms of tens, then you can tell them I have 230. So in this case, we have written it into a significant figure and it's, it is giving more information and close to preciseness. Then someone can say, I need all the details of, about the number that you have. Then you can say, I have 233. So in this case, you are written it in three significant figure. And in this case, the person will know you, the hundreds that you have, the tens that you have, and the ones that you have. So in this case, the more the number of significant figures in a, in a figure or in a number, the more precise your answer is. So sometimes during science experiments and measurements and even computations, we get very complex or large numbers and it's very advisable for us to write them in significant figures. So when assigning significant figures to numbers, it's very important to note that any digit which lies between 1 and 9, they are all significant when they appear in a number. And in this case, if you have a, a, a number like 1487, then this, all these numbers are significant since they are in, within a range of 1 to 9. So here, if you want to know which number is most significant, then you will start from the left, to the right and in this case the one on the left this is the most significant figure so this is the first significant figure then it will be followed by the one following the one on the left this one here this is the second significant figure then it will be followed with the third one this is the third significant figure and then the last one is the list and this is the fourth significant figure so in this case, for you to determine the number which is most significant, you start from the left and then you go to the right side of a number. Again, if I can write another number here, 240. Which one is most significant? This is the first significant figure, second, then this is the third, like that. Now, since zero is not between one and nine, then zero can be significant or significant when it appears in a number, but it depends on its position, either it is on the left side of a number, it's on the right side of a number, or it is in between a number. So the position of zero determines its significance. Like in this case, if zero occurs between a non-zero digit, then it is significant. And a good example we have given here, case one, is a number like 5006. In this case, all these two zeros are significant 
since if you remove them, the number will become 56 and it will not make sense. So in this case, this is the first significant figure, second significant figure, third significant figure, and then this is the fourth significant figure. Then the second case is when zero occurs at the left end of a number. In this case, zero is not significant. So in this case, zero is significant. But now, when zero occurs on the left side of a number, then it's not significant. Like in this case, we have a number like 0 0.00254. In this case, the only numbers which range between 1 and 9 are this one. Then all these other zeros which are on the left, they are not significant. So when we start counting the significant figures here, these two is the first significant. 5 here is the second significant. Then 4 here is the third significant. So in this case, 0 is not significant in that number. Then the third case that we have is when 0 occurs on the right hand end of an integer. So in this case, 0 can be significant or not significant depending on your moods. So in this case, if you have a number like this, uh, 3 or 30,000, in this case, this might be this can be first significant figure, second, third, then fourth, and then this is the fifth, fifth significant figure. So in this case, all the zeros are significant. Zero are significant. But sometimes you can decide to make them insignificant, and then in this case here we have up to fifth significant figure. Then if you decide to make it insignificant, then it will be this 30,000 like this will be this one is the first significant, then the rest of these are not significant. So when they appear on the right side of an integer, it depends on the question that you are being asked, but they can be significant or not significant. And then the, the last scenario of a zero, in this case, either it's significant or not, if zero occurs on the right hand end and after this small point, then it means that zero is significant. If you have a number like case four here, a number like 2.000, in this case, if you have a point and you decide to write a zero in front of it, because this number, you can comfortably write it as two, that is all. But if you decide now to insert a point there and then you continue with zeros, it means all these zeros that you have added are significant. So in this case, this is the first significant, second significant, third significant, and fourth significant. So this number here is up to four significant figures. So let's handle a few questions. The first question reads, write down the number of significant figures in each of the following. And the first question, 500 and 60,000. In this case, the zeros appear on the right side of an integer. And we said when zero appear on the right side of an integer, they can be significant or not significant. So if we consider them to be significant, then it will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six significant figures. But if we consider them not significant, the zeros, then it can be one, two. It can be two significant figures. So this one, has two answers. Then the second question B, 502, how many significant figures are here? We said when zero appears between an integer, then it is significant. So in this case, it's one significant figure, second and third. In this case, it's three significant figures. Then the number C, 0 0.000456, we said when zeros appear on the left hand side, of a number, all of them are insignificant. So in this case, the first significant figure is this one, second, and then this is the third. So in this case, it's three significant figures. Then let's go to number D, 7,523.2. In this case, all of them are significant, and this is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So in this case, it's five significant 
figures then the number e 0 0.0000200 we said when zeros appear in front of a number they are significant and when they appear behind a number they are insignificant so here these are the only significant figures from two henceforth and in this case this is the first second third so in this case is three significant figures and then the last one number f 0 0.004032 in this case when zeros appear behind they are not significant but if zero appear inside in between a number it is significant so here this is the first second third and fourth so this number has four significant figures like that so that marks the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will discuss standard forms